Here I have another PC called Caitlin PC, and I can go ahead and disconnect. I'm automatically connected, and I can look at her music. I can go back and look at her pictures or videos or documents. So let's go to my music. I'm going to do a search here. I did the search earlier, so a search for Red Thread. And I don't have Red Thread music on this PC. So with people having more and more content, music content, video content around their home, we make it very easy for you to search for it. You don't have to remember what PC to go to to get that content. So here I'm going to search across my home group. And I find Red Thread, and I can go ahead and click this. Now it's on. So Caitlin PC is right over here. And start playing it in the new there we go. And that's our new player. The new library player for Media Player. But of course the library is still there. So you can go into Media Player and create a playlist and do all the things you can do as in task version windows. The difference here is that the libraries on the left hand side are the same libraries that you see in the explorer. Media Center also uses the same library, so you manage and create and use your content in the same way across Windows Explorer, Windows Media Player, and Windows Media Center. So here I am in um, the Media Player, and I talked before about how I connect to devices. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and play to a device on my network, the Photos Media Render, Renderer right here. <laughs> and so I'm playing music from my the other computer on my home group on Kate PC to my home studio stereo from this PC. And you can also do that with uh, videos and pictures as well. So if you have a photo frame or something like that, you can send your send your media all over your house. Right. Thank you, Steven. And right here I have a Motorola phone. The devices are get, getting more and more capable as time goes on, and most of them are turning into multifunction devices. And there's a ton of new devices that can work with Windows, offering you a lot of choice on, on what you want to do with your PC. In Windows 7, we have a new feature called Device Stage, where we bring together all the capabilities that are present in that device into one place for you to see everything that you can do with that device. So here I am on the Device Stage for the Motorola Rocker. I can set up my sync capabilities, I can manage the media on my device, I can browse files, I can go and find that documentation that I probably threw out the manual when I got the box. So I can go online and get that. And anything that the device does can be exposed through the device page. When I click on devices and pictures, I can give you of all the devices that are connected that I can work with. Over here, the Canon Inkjet printer is part of my home group. And it is the printer that is connected to Caitlin's PC. Behind the scenes, it looks to me, that printer was installed just as if it was a local printer, and I could use it to connect and print documents without doing any additional work. Now, we do one thing extra. When you come home from a, a work and you connect your laptop with your home group, we automatically switch you to the home printer. And then when you go back to work, we automatically switch you back to the work printer. So no longer... <laughs> While you're printing those social documents at work, those work documents at home. But even with all this power, Windows 7 makes it really easy for you to keep the desktop clean. We have changed the way that gadgets work so you no longer are confined too far, and you can have them anywhere you want on the desktop. <laughs> I was surprised to learn when I came to the Windows team how many people actually personalize and change their desktop. Over 95% of our users change the desktop. Some of them doing it many more times a month. Now, lots of people change them in a different way. Some of you power users probably like a plain dark background, and someone else might want something a little more colorful. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one here, and I'm going to go over and take a peek at my desktop to see if I like this one. I'm moving down in the bottom right-hand corner to take a peek. That one looks pretty good. Let's try one more. Ah, is that a window? It also made it easier to share and create things on your own. I know something that's really important. And besides being able to package them up and share them, you have a lot of capabilities to publish.
customize it to what you want to look. So here we have some presets on what the glass color is. If you notice at the top of my window and at the bottom of the taskbar, you can see it automatically updating to bring glass all the way down now. I have a lot of choice on mixing those colors. Uh, let's make it a little bit more on the brown side, maybe change the hue just a little bit there. So you can very easily package up and change and update the desktop quickly and as easily as a couple of clicks. Now another way that you can stay controlled the way that your computer is working for you is with the down here in the system tray, down here on the bottom right hand corner. This is the area that has considered the notification area. That's the place that all the little annoying pop-ups keep coming up for and ask them to do things right in the middle of your work. So if you want staff to download the vendor definitions when you're trying to get a presentation out. So now, in Windows 7, only you have control of what's in the list and, and in the system tray. By default, every icon moves into this upper area, and then you can move in or move out and rearrange exactly what you want in here. You also have control <laughs> <laughs> Here, everything that comes into the tray, you have the ability to change and show and hide all the notifications and how the icon shows up on the tray. We also bring together all the things you can do to manage your PC with the Action Center. This is where all the messages get queued up until you're really ready to deal with it yourself. So I open up the Action Center and it's one place to go to for the maintain the security and look at your PC performance bring you together all of those other places into one view. So one of the key, the key things about the PC is really the change between hardware and software. And so one of the, one of the areas that we've really invested heavily in, in Windows over the years is different types of hardware for interface and for interface.